All right, my beautiful people, welcome back to My Crafting World. This is Anna. In the last video, we made the suitcase part of the suitcase stack. So you guys know how I made this. We are going to make the second one. And the second one is going to be a trunk, not necessarily a, a suitcase like this one. So for that one, I am going to tell you what you're going to need, but uh, I'm not gonna go through every single step. I mean, they're all going to be assembled the same way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and link a tutorial, the tutorial to putting together the suitcase somewhere up here. So for the trunk, you are going to need let me tell you, and I didn't write the sizes on here. You are going to need, you need two card stocks that are seven by five. You need two that are six by one and a half. And you need two that are seven by one and a half. This is for the lid. And then for the bottom, of course, you need your seven by five. And then you need also two pieces that are six by three and a half and two pieces that are seven by three and a half. And all of these, we are going to go ahead and score the same way we scored the suitcase. So I'm going to do all the scoring and I am going to fast forward all the scoring. So remember on the this is the this is the, the longer one so on the longer one you are going to score on the three and a half inch side you're going to go ahead and score half inch on three sides so let me go this way so i don't get you confused so half an inch and on the short one you're just going to score half an inch along the short side and again on the seven by one and a half, you're, you're going to score half inch on one side, which is the short side. The shorter six by one and a half, you're gonna score at half inch on three sides. On this part, we're going to cut all our corners. We're gonna, we're gonna angle our corners. Okay, we've got them all cut, all cut, all the corners cut. Now we're going to go ahead and we are going to fold on the score lines. All right, guys, we have gone ahead and we have um, folded all of our score lines. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to glue my lid. So I'm going to start with the short end and I'm going to glue it exactly the way I did the first one, just because that's how I started. If you want to, you can glue it to the inside of your flap this way, okay? And leave this as the top. But I'm not going to do that because I'm afraid that it might not match up to the bottom once I do put them together. So I'm going to go ahead and do it just like I did the first one. I'm going to glue it to the um, the inside or the flaps will be to the outside. All right, guys, I have scored and glued all my pieces together. So I've got my box and I went ahead and cut. This is two sheets or two pieces of three and a half by 11. And then I got another, I think three inches on that side. I've already folded uh, and, uh, and scored it. And my next step is going to be uh, to glue this down to uh, form the lip for the lid. So you guys know the drill. I'm going to put glue all around the box, then I'm going to put this inside and smooth it down. So I don't think you need to see me do that again. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back. All right, I got it in there. I went ahead and put the bottom in. Now let's see if this is going to fit. Yes, it fits guys. I think it fits better than the first one. So this is our trunk. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to 
put that long hinge in. This is a scrap. It's six by one and a quarter. And I'm going to score this one and a quarter. I'm going to score it at three quarters. I know it's different than the last one, uh, but this is a scrap. So one and three quarters. I'm sorry, three quarters of an inch. This is now our hinge. And I am going to put it on this side. And the shorter end is going to go on the top and then the longer one is going to go on the bottom. I think I showed this in the last video for the first suitcase. Take this off so I don't glue it on. So I'm just going right up to the edge, guys. Then I am going to glue this to the bottom. And I'm again, I'm going to try to stay away from that little fold line so that I don't glue my, my box shut, my trunk. There we go, guys. This one's just a little bit tighter, but you know, once we start opening and closing it, it'll it'll close easier. But I mean, not that it's a problem right now. Anyway, all that's left to do at this point for the trunk is to paper the trunk. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm going to give you the measurements for the last one, okay? Okay, guys, I have finished the trunk. And let me show you what it's looking like so far. That's the top. That's that big old ship looking page. So this is the trunk. And let me show you what it looks like from the front. So there is the front. The suitcase in the trunk. Here is the side. Here is the back. I love that. And then here is the other side. Okay. So the last thing I'm going to make here is the, the last case. It is a train case. So let me get the pieces that are already cut. And I feel like you guys have already graduated. All I'm going to do is tell you the, give you the measurements and then tell you where I'm going to score. Then I'm going to put the box together and I will show you the box already put together. So for the little train case, okay, so you need two pieces that are five by four. You need four pieces that are five by one and a half. And you need four pieces that are five by two and a half. The, the five by two and a half, I'm going to score two of them at half an inch on three sides. And then I'm going to score two of them at half an inch on the short side. For the five by one and a half, I'm going to score two of them on three sides. And then I'm going to score two of them on the short side at one and a half. And of course, I am going to score nothing on these. So I am going to score and put these together and I'll be right back. All right, so I have finished the train and not bad guys, it's a little train, it's so cute. But let me show you what the trio looks like together. Here is the trio, I know it's kind of hard to see. I just love that. So now in my next video guys, oh and I, and I just used scraps for the bottoms. Um, in my next video, 
because I feel like you guys graduated and you didn't need to see me cut and score and fold and glue. So when you got to this one, you graduated, you didn't have to see all that. So in my next video, I am going to show you, I'm gonna go ahead and embellish the three suitcase, trunk, and train. I'm gonna go ahead and embellish, embellish all three and um, yeah, have a walk through. That way you can see what I did with it and see if they really look like suitcases. Remember, I don't have any prototypes. I just have an idea in my head and I am really hoping it works out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today and I will talk to everyone later. Y'all have a great day. Thanks a lot, guys.